Hey everybody, before we get into uh, this video, I just wanted to um, uh, show you who I am, uh, let you see my face. <laughs> I'm usually seeing my hands, I think. <clears throat> um, but also, uh, just introduce what I do. I am a, a cartoonist, and I'm working on um, uh, Joe Death and the Graven Image um, to be published by Dark Horse at some point uh, in the future when all of this um, global pandemic uh, kind of Let's publishing kind of get back to business. Um, but I do have a Patreon account. Um, and on that Patreon account, I share my comic uh, in PDF form. Um, and there's also a lot of content um, explaining uh, what I do and how I do it, similar to the content that you're finding here on YouTube. Um, so if you're interested, uh, you know, feel free to click on the link um, in the comments, uh, in below in the um, description. <laughs> um, but uh, I just want to thank you for uh, being here and watching uh, my content. I hope this one's um, uh, insightful for you. It was really fun to do this cover, um, but uh, it was also really, really fun to talk to Jens, uh, which is the second part to this. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Have you guys heard of the comic uh, called Dunce? Um, it is followed by 21, close to 22,000 followers on Instagram, which is a very high number. Uh, so maybe some of you guys know about it. Anyway, <laughs> um, it is uh, done by um, this Norwegian man called uh, Jens. His name is Jens. <laughs> and um, it's a fun little comic. It's uh, syndicated. It goes in uh, publications in Europe, um, certainly in uh, Norway, and I believe some other countries. But it's uh, just a fantastic um, comic strip, a traditional uh, comic strip that you would find in a newspaper. Um, Jens is a funny guy. He's got a lot of funny things to say, and he says it through uh, dogs, uh, kids, and his personified self. Um, and, uh, he is, uh, just, you know, a, a true cartoonist. He's prolific. He does this regularly every week. I think he's making one of these things, um, if not more per week. So I just talked to Jens today and, uh, he's making six per week. Um, so that's six comic strips, um, every week. <laughs> but, uh, I'm a friend of Jens and this is us. Um, when was this taken? This was taken uh, 106 weeks ago, <laughs> uh, April 9, 2018. I was living in New York, and um, I had just, uh, he came over for MoCA, um, uh, the Society of Illustrators uh, Comic Festival um, in New York City, and I had been uh, accepted to MoCA. Um, um, I was, I was, very happy to, to talk to him, hang out with him. We had a fun uh, time. Um, and he's just a real genuine guy. I really, really like this guy. And um, uh, so we uh, hang out. We hung out that, that weekend. Um, he helped me uh, carry um, like a suitcase uh, full of my comics and other crap to set up at MoCA, uh, like blocks, like, like long, long blocks and like through through subways and stuff through new york and uh i'm sure i ran over his toes a few times um and uh we probably got lost several times but um that's because we were talking so much uh and uh it was really fun um and since then we have uh we've talked we've communicated we've uh collaborated on on just very small things but we we've always sort of uh, tried to uh, work together whenever we can um, or bat around ideas. This is a fun little example. Um, I just drew a background and um, then he sketched a few characters into the scene and um, then uh, I colored them, kind of put them, put them together, made it feel like uh, the guy was in uh, my scene. And um, that was just a small test and I don't really, I, didn't, I haven't shared it anywhere else. So I thought this was a good place to share it but um yeah as you can see he's a is a great uh character designer and i really liked uh, the results of this little project so we'll, we'll see down the road 
Who knows what could happen? He um, featured me in, in his, uh, he wrote a little comic uh, about his experience of going to New York City. And um, this, is, uh, this is me here in one of his, uh, one of his, one of his comics. And uh, I, I really love it. It's, uh, it uh, is fun. And uh, just just a little a little behind the scenes. So his um his uh, Kickstarter is going on right now, and um, he kickstarted a lot of uh, uh, English versions of his comics collections. And um, he has a dog named Brago, and he is now featuring Brago uh, quite a lot in his comic strips. Um, and so this is going to be kind of Brago exclusive um, book. Um, and so, uh, I, uh, just messaged him and said, Hey, I want to draw something for you. And he said, Oh, do you want to do a guest cover? And I said, yes, that would be fantastic. Um, and, uh, I'm going to do that. Um, so with stuff like this, uh, I want to give him a great cover. I also want to have uh, a lot of fun and grow a lot um, while I'm doing each project. There's, there's so many things to do and there's, there's not enough time uh, in the day for me to uh, waste my time on a project that's not going to push me in some way. So um, I, I, wanted, I wanna do well in this uh, and I um, also uh, wanna get better at uh, illustration. So, um, one of the things I, um, you know, I've sketched around in my sketchbook, um, and just kind of trying to figure out an idea. Um, and, uh, I never really got anywhere uh, in, in that process. I mean, I could, I could try more, but, um, I was kind of, uh, you know, trying to figure out well, what, well, should I base it on some experience? I mean, he's, he's told me about, uh, hunting in Norway and, uh, and being uh, afraid of polar bears, um, you know, hunting him and his his partner while he's out, and I was like, uh, you know, that could be something that could be funny there, but um, uh, I I think I'm going to try to do uh, kind of a parody cover, um, and I think um, you know I, I I love old old pulpy covers. I love uh, C.S. Lewis, and uh, I've had this cover on my Pinterest board for a long time, and I think I'm going to try to execute um, this uh, uh, Dunn's cover with uh, this kind of, um, well, this exact setting, except with the Dunn's characters, probably Brago as sort of a galactic galactic star uh, constellation Brago. And this could even be the coronavirus if I want to be super timely. But um, that, that's, my, that's my thought right now. Um, I, think, I think it's a solid uh, conceit. I think it's a solid... Um, uh, idea um, and one one that will work. So um, I I'm gonna I'm gonna go go for it. And uh, you know if it if it turns out to be trash, I'll, I'll try something else. But this is what I'm I'm gonna try to do right now. So I brought that uh, cover into a Photoshop document that's the size of uh, his book. So um, I'm gonna make art that's gonna fit his uh, dimensions in his book. Um, but I'm going to base it off of uh, this as already discussed. Um, so I just start grabbing um, colors from the, the book here and um, uh, place them um, and kind of make, um, you know, a, a, a newer approximation of, of what this book cover is. So uh, I start with the basics, start, you know, just like an image, I'm, I'm blocking in uh, the design. So um, for the background, put that little ribbon there. This little uh, motif, I think, is going to be fun. Uh, right here, it's you know, it's pan book, so there's there's like pan, uh, the Greek uh, god, goddess, with the, pan, with the pan pipes, um, and uh, I'll probably have I'll probably have a fun like I'll do something fun with like his his silhouette here, the dunce face. Um, Got that in, put his title, he gave me this title, his colors. Um, I'm gonna make a, a different uh, 
I'm going to give him a couple options. So one that's maybe a little bit more modern, but um, for the uh, for the retro cover, I'll uh, keep it black and white. Um, not I'm going to deviate from from this uh, here, or I, I I might actually try to fit try try this too, um, just just for fun. But um, and uh, then I start putting out little little types, handbooks. Probably make that some other stupid uh, books a fake fake uh, publisher. But um, this is this is kind of fun. The distinguished novel of space adventure. So that's a pretty fun um, moniker or whatever it is. Distinguished novel of spaceship adventure. <laughs> Very early uh, science fiction. They're still sort of figuring out how to talk about it, I think, how to market it. Um, and uh, that was one of the offers back then. So, um, okay, and uh, just to just get, get a closer, you know, I, 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 like, I like this, but I want to, kind of throw on some texture. Um, this is the same texture I use for all of my uh, fake covers, just this kind of one that I found uh, online. And um, I just play with the opacity and make, make it kind of feel like an old old cover. Just start playing with um, adjustment layers. I usually use hue and saturation and um, color balance to figure out my colors. Um, and then I, I, I drop in you know his his illustration this is this is where, where I'm going this is what I'm going to illustrate um, with uh, his characters so I just like to see you know this is kind of just a quick sketch to see if this will work if I like this um, and uh, I think it has potential so I'm gonna go forward with it so these are the sketches that I was working out um, as soon as I found kind of just an idea um, and I'm working with the characters, trying to find uh, the expressions that I can kind of pull off. And um, I'm looking at uh, his Instagram and like his his characters, and um, just realizing how hard it is to actually um, like act with uh, new characters um, that aren't yours that you spent years uh, working on. Um, so I think I think Jens has just the just the ability to make his characters do whatever he wants because uh, he knows them for so long. So um, I, uh, I just look at what he does and try to figure out how that works when I do it. Um, and uh, I don't spend you know too long. I, it's just one image. It's not like I'm drawing a comic. So I just kind of uh, figure out that um, those, those expressions that I need. Here you're seeing um, just a tracing that I traced on Photoshop, um, just with a basic uh, pen, and um, this is you know the scene from the book cover. Um, I just wanted to I just wanted to have that printed out um, on my desk so I could put my uh, your Yensis characters over uh, that image. And so you know I'm trying to a parody cover, so I want I want the characters to be in the same place in the screen in the you know the setting the surrounding that they're in. Um, and then I just trace over um, that template uh, with the characters and try to work out a setting that is uh, the same but new. Um, and I think I get there in about <laughs> like five, uh, five to six uh, tracings. Okay, here we are in my computer inside the Photoshop file. Um, and uh, this right here is just the lines, the last tracing um, that I've scanned in and put into Photoshop. Um, I did draw uh, this image in two layers because I knew I wanted um, a little bit of separation. So I've got Rego and the uh, space dog, the alien dog that he's, uh, he's interested in outside of the ship and uh, I drew those in separate layers because I knew I'd have to um, separate them anyway uh, in here. So instead of having to trace them out and cut them out and make a different layer, I just decided to uh, draw it on a separate layer of paper. Um, so that's there. And uh, first thing I do, I, I'm, you know, I've finished this image. I'm kind of recording it afterwards. 
um, and uh, I'm just going to go through step by step what I what I did. Um, I'm going to try to go in order, but uh, when I'm in Photoshop, um, it's really I'm just I'm just kind of making stuff happen, and I don't know exactly. It, it's very feel oriented. It's very like feelings based. I I, I feel like, <laughs> um, you know, I'm I'm jumping around the image. I'm tweaking this and this and this and um, and it's not as clean and as clinical as what I'm about to do um, which is show you kind of just the steps as they are now but um, but it, it was harder to see obviously starting um, at the time so uh, these are the final colors but it, it took me a while to get there um, so it's not it's not uh, it's not easy but um, it, it will look easy as I click on these layers. Um, so uh, I just begin kind of flatting, um, flatting, uh, sorry for the glitchy, glitchiness here on the Photoshop file or the something, something wrong with my software and, uh, and the uh, Photoshop and, and my Mac software. Anyway, um, that is, uh, that is the, the basic, um, uh, flat, uh, and then I just start adding the characters, colors, um, with separate layers, um, and uh, start adding, you know, kind of separations. of this is a very minimal color uh, job, this this uh, setting here, um, and uh, I uh, don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, this so a couple a couple of these layers that you're that's it's not quite obvious. This is um this is a texture layer um, that I use and I use it on uh, Kyle T Webster's uh, brushes. He has a gritty texture kind of, and if you zoom in, it's this nice sort of pebbly, grainy texture. Um, and uh, I just select where I want it, and then. Texture up. It's kind of like a spray can in like Microsoft Word back back when we used that to for fun or not for fun, just for experimentation. Um, this is a layer right here of um, just blue, just a layer of blue color, um, and that just brings everything together, brings it, make it makes it a cooler uh, um, layer there. Uh, and uh, it really, the colors will really start kind of um, working together once I turn on these um, hue and saturation levels. Uh, which doesn't do a whole lot. I, that that's a, a hue and saturation that I've desaturated about 35 um, and played with the color a little bit. But it's not not you know, very noticeable. But um, you would notice it if it wasn't there. So hue and saturation and color balance balance are really my um, Go to layers, um, and uh, so let's go to um, the black uh, now. Basically, the inking, um, and uh, I'll turn I'll turn off the uh, colors and um, get this nice black and white inked layer. This. Uh, would be cool if I could get this traditionally. Um, I just can't. I mean, I, I could try uh, for a few years to get better at inking, but I, I, I think I don't have that time. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, this is kind of you know this would be um, this this came after this came after uh, working with some of the colors, um, and um, I didn't just like go from lines to ink, though you could. Um, and uh, now now with those uh, those color layers, um, I, I start I start you know above above that uh, hue and saturation those first hue and saturation um, in color balance layers, I'm working with the kind of highlights like the special colors, um, which are like the computers and the little dials. And um, I've got them on a layer here. I've got I made sort of this like bounce light layer underneath, so it's a little bit of 
to, and to create that, I just, I just color, you know, color pick this, and then I place it kind of where you might get a, a kind of a, a color, uh, a light bounce um, on on these uh, on these elements in the scene in the cockpit. Um, and then once again, I'm I'm doing another hue and saturation layer over that, um, and I think. I think uh, it's nice. It's muted. Um, it's uh, but you know, it it um, it's it needs to be muted to uh, elevate what's going to go uh, in this viewport here, which is the sort of the outer space layer. Um, so I'm going to turn off those hue and saturation layers real quick and just and just keep it with a regular color, um, and then I'm going to sort of um, so this is the sky. Uh, I'm not going to tell uh, you guys how I made this <laughs> because the sky is kind of um, important to me uh, in a lot of my comics and a lot of my images. Um, you'll see this uh, kind of texture and technique that I use, and um, I don't. You know, I'm giving a lot of advice here. Um, there's a couple things I want to keep for myself because I I kind of think that they're they're a big part of what I do. Um, so. I don't want to just sort of give that away, um, you know. If you I, anyone can can do this, it's not uh, super hard, um, but uh, you, you will have to dig if you want to get there, um, because I want to kind of protect it. But uh, I don't I don't mind if anyone wants to try their hand at, at getting there. Um, but uh, so um, so this is the lines, and um, I kind of do the same sort of treatment. Um, and uh, add color to uh, to the characters there, and you know they're they're even more muted, um, but you know, place it against the sky. Um, let's see. That's oh, a flattened layer, I guess. Um, and. Uh, that's sort of the end result of all these layers here is this flattened layer and um, now underneath uh, underneath this layer underneath the cockpit layer there's um, an, again there's another hue and saturation uh, layer that I'm going to turn on and um, that right there I'm using uh, lightness just to create this effect as if it were like uh, seeing through glass um, I don't really I don't do anything with saturation or the color just using it for lighten, and then I place a photo filter over it. Um, and it's just a blue, uh, a blue cooling filter, um, and uh, that that's what it is before the color. Uh, all the color changes you saw above. So um, once you turn those on, I think they're they're gonna really start feeling uh, feeling good. They bring bring everything in kind of together um, so there's like there, you know there's contrast um, but mostly it's a value contrast mostly this is all a cool a cool um, image um, but there you go um, when when doing color uh, your hue and saturation and your color balance layers are always your friend um, so use those to tie the image together. Um, this is the title. Um, and uh, it's based on the, um, um, uh, the old classic EC Comics Weird Science um, comics. And uh, let me go to my Squarespace account. My, um, I'm going to go. I haven't posted this, so I'm going on the on the back end. To show you my blog post, but um, let's see. A long way around. When this video is posted, um, you'll obviously see uh, see this on my blog. Um, I'll post them at the same time. But um, these posts, uh, I'm, I'm making. You know, I'm making these videos, but I'm also making blog posts at the same time. Uh, it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of work, but I, I like it this way. I, I think 
this is the maximum kind of education I can do uh, to have sort of two uh, two viewpoints into what I'm making. Um, so uh, as you know, I want to I want to I want this to be part of my my career, my life that is giving giving educational uh, tips and um, sharing with you what I what I do. So uh, right here is the weird science uh, that I was looking at. Um, just pulled a couple. There's a lot of them, um, but I, I really uh, thought they th thought this would work um, because, uh, well, first of all, I mean, you know, you, you saw that I was I was go aiming for this um, this cover um, out of the Silent Planet cover, kind of pulpy. But when I got to the end of the image, um, I just thought this is too much. This is too much like a comic, um, and it's going to it's not going to work in this little box here. Um, and plus, uh, the Dunce Brega logo that Jens has made is just um, too fun to kind of pass up. So th this 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 was my original idea, but you know, as you can see, um, I abandoned it um, for the for a little bit more of an exciting. Um, it's still in the same genre. It's still pulp fiction and um, kind of science fiction, but. Uh, it's much it it fits the tone and the Dunn Sprago stacking uh, just you know works perfectly with the weird science stacking. Um, so uh, did that and then called called it quits. Um, but uh, I can go. Let's go back to the Photoshop file and um, so start turning off these layers. Um, so to get this, I, I had you know his uh, his here this is his t uh, logo design, um, and I just um, traced over it uh, to get this effect. Um, I probably some something that happens with, you know easy to, is obvious probably, but um, just take take the opacity down when you need to trace. Um, and then um, it shifted a little bit, but uh, originally it was at the same size, and I was just tracing um, and you know mimicking. You know, in Photoshop you can zoom super super close up, so that was helpful here, just to mimic this sort of like streaky kind of paint uh, texture, um, and then this like electrified uh, edge here. Um, and then uh, I just, I just uh, kind of, I, I just traced it here. You, you, you sort of would think that this is like a, a drop shadow effect or something, but um, no, you just have to like trace it. There's nothing, nothing for it. You have to go the long way, and just trace the, um, trace the the letters and make that. Um, you know, it's all it's all hand lettered, so um, that's that. Um, I put the I think you know these are you know kind of important little little uh, things here. I mean they're, they're not important. They're not the it's not the actual price and it's not the actual uh, it is the actual year, but they're just they're just those kind of markings on books that make you feel like it's a real product. Um, so you can see when they're when they're gone. Um, it just looks, just looks less, you know, less. <laughs> uh, and you need, I think, you need those uh, kind of details to add like authenticity um, to to the book, even if it's a, you know, this is a fake, uh, it's a parody cover. It's not like it's a, um, it's, not, it's not like it's actually going for ten dollars. Um, and I don't know what the star is. You know, these things made more sense back when. Uh, it was obviously you know there's used on these um, weird science magazines, but um, it has kind of lost its meaning over time. Um, but it's a it's an artifact. Uh, it's a little signifier of something in the past um, or or of meaning. So uh, it is worthwhile to include. Um, but um, yeah, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you like this process is a little shorter than uh, the last one um, but uh, 
I'm excited to show this to Jens and um, hear what he has to say and then uh, and then also talk to him uh, and ask him some questions about just what it is to be a cartoonist and um, his thoughts on it. So uh, stay tuned for that.